First of all, let's just tell me your name. I am Tanya Dimachowski. I know that. Okay. Tell me your name. <laughs> I'm Dorian Maverick. How you doing? And Hello. tell me your name. I'm Tia Dimachowski. I know that. <laughs> okay, so the book ends. You guys are twins, right? Yes. yes. Do you have a birthday coming up soon, or you just had one? March 19th. Yeah. So, newly 22 years. <laughs> okay, so it's been a while there. All right, for those who don't know, these are uh, some friends and bass player alumni. Yeah. At least the two bookends, uh, the ones on the outside, the bass, <laughs> basement, Detroit bass player in the basement alumni, and that's <laughs> B-A-S-S-M-I-N-T. Uh, welcome back, ladies. Thank you. That was a wonderful piece you did. Um, inside this basement, we also have Hopefully they chime in. We have over here. We got our gracious host, Mr. Reginald Cathy. How you doing? Doing pretty good. Sir. Look at over there on the phone making deals. I uh, bet. No, I'm over here phone uh, adding new members. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> uh, y'all, well, what y'all got like last time I looked, it was a thousand and seventy-three. What yeah, it said. I now. don't know what it is now. I've been adding people and and, and ignoring a few. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, next to him, uh, and 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 um. Another Detroit bass player that lives in Massachusetts. Tell us your name. I'm Zen Reinhardt. How you doing, Zen? Pretty good. Thanks for hanging out yeah. with us here in the basement. Coming all the way from Massachusetts for the photo shoot and the bass day. That's awesome. And then on the other side of the room, we have with us, tell us your name, sir. David Pastorius. A bad bass player, y'all. Check out the interview that we did or going to do, do with him. Yeah, with, I don't know which one it is, with, how it's going to work out, but this dude is bad on the guitar and uh, his his uncle is my favorite bass player in the whole wide world. You want to know who that is? Check out the interview we did with him here in the basement. Also here... Michael Ryan. Michael Ryan. Uh, I don't see no instruments in your hand. What you play? I left it in the car. I play guitar. But what else do you do, sir? Uh, I also uh, <laughs> uh, own and work at Guitar Grip, <laughs> which is custom guitar hangers. They're hands that come out of the wall that hold your guitar. Awesome, man. Guitargrip.com. Okay, that that is so awesome. Uh, can we get you back in the basement? Uh, Absolutely. And, and and just you know do a. a do the guitar grip thing. I'd love man. to do that. Because I be need great. to understand. I'm, I'm trying to learn. That's why I do this stuff to learn as much as I can. Yeah, we would love to do that. And anybody else that's watching this, uh, chime. Um, if you want to come and hang out with us, please do. Also in the house, we have with us uh, none other than, man, tell us your name, sir. Craig Sconey. 
Craig Scone. If y'all don't know who this is, he's the founder of uh, Detroit Bass Players on Facebook, DetroitBassBears.com. Y'all need to go check that stuff out. If you play bass, you need to join us. Yes, eventually he will have some more t-shirts available. Y'all just mm -hmm. got to stay posted, man, to the page that Reggie's right now uh, uh, declining and accepting people on record. <laughs> uh, it's actually declining anymore. So many, wow. so many requests. It's, and uh, we try to limit it to bass players and people in the music industry. So Exactly, because I'm mm -hmm. sure somebody will try to get on there and uh, oh, sell a... Uh, Plenty of them. Hot dog stands. <laughs> you know? Okay, so we hanging out with these ladies. Um, now, I've heard, I met you guys in March. What, what is your birthday? March 19th. I met you March 20th, March 20th or March 21st of last year. Uh, right after your birthday, you guys came and did the basement with us, right? Yes. Yeah. And, and, and we had an awesome day. We had an awesome day in the basement when you guys were here. I recommend, if you're watching this, go back and see their last interview. Uh, and uh, these guys were in college, juniors or something. Now you guys, are, are you still in school? We just graduated. See, uh, see what I'm saying? That's awesome. And what school did you just graduate from? We went to Berklee College of Music. The Yale of music <laughs> schools. It's, 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 it's a conservatory. It's the best place for music, one of the best places for music education. Has it served you well since uh, the last time I saw you? Yes. G give me an example. All you have to do is watch their old interview and watch this interview. <laughs> <laughs> well, basically, um, we made an album uh, a couple years ago when we were like first sort of got into Berkeley. Uh -huh. And it's it's got good music on it, but the production isn't the best. And um, the music uh, has gotten better uh, on this next album we have mm -hmm. that we made basically on our way out of Berkeley. So if you, you know, compare the albums, you see how far we've come like musically with our songwriting and with our production. Like everything's come so far. Berkeley's taught us a lot. We all went there. Tanya and I graduated with a degree in film scoring, and Maverick still has one more year to go. Yep, I'm She's doing a dual major, so it's a five-year program. Uh, what's the dual major? Uh, songwriting and composition. Composition being like traditional symphonic composition. With bass and treble clef? Oh, yeah. And alto. All the clefs. <laughs> uh, you got to do all of them, tenor clef? And, yep. and yeah, that's why it takes an extra year. You know? <laughs> right, that, I started studying that stuff, and I said, yeah. I only need to know bass and treble. Forget it, <laughs> you know. Yeah. That that is so awesome. Um, another thing, if you want to do a comparison between um, then and um, now, what was your first album called? Ascended from Ashes. Okay, can we still pick that up anywhere? Yep, uh, it's on iTunes, Amazon, CD Baby, basically anywhere, anywhere you can buy music. Okay, and what is the title of the current CD? Our new CD, which we have right, oh my god, it's here. It's called Shatter the Sky. Yep. And uh, this has 12 tracks of, you know, we just spent like almost two years working on, you know, the songwriting and, you know, the, all the performance, just to make it as, well, as, as impressive as possible. Mm -hmm. The songwriting is really tight. We got some cool album artwork. Yeah, we have, we had an amazing artist from San Francisco design our album cover and um, the entire packet and redesign everything. and. We mixed it ourselves, but now, you know, Berkeley educated people, we actually know what we're doing. So, uh, we got it mastered uh, got in it. Detroit at the Disc Limited mm -hmm. Studios, if anyone knows where that is. It's okay. Mile. They did a great job. Yeah, so. they did. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Man, so. Okay, the, the song that you just Nine performed for us in, in your intro, is that on in the current it CD? Is. And it what is, is on the CD. What's, is, what's the name of the song? It's track eight, and it's called Take Me Away, and it has a wonderful bass solo in it. Yeah, we, we I, dude, I can't wait to uh, uh, go purchase a copy for myself, and I recommend to anybody else. Thank you. Go purchase your copies and check and, and support our Detroit artists. Support this guy right here, Dave Pistorius. He got some tracks out. Man, y'all go check him out. What's the name of your album, man? A <coughs> uh, band's called Local 518. Uh, the, the, sec the first album's just self titled, the second one's called uh, Sense of Urgency. Right, but man, support. We got to do this, man. Uh, help each other out, man. I, um, uh, in fact, 
I'm going to make me an album one day just to, uh, you know, so y'all can help me out. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, okay. I wanted to ask you, 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 you put out a clip just before you guys graduated. Um, yes. Is that on this album too? Yes, it is. It is. It is yeah. the last track on this album. It's that the was finale track. Smoking. Oh, thank, thank you. you. In that, that track, we combined uh, elements from all the songs and put them into one big suite. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and put, yeah. it's almost like I, I, I actually yeah. heard that. Now, is is it okay if I? If I play that and oh, maybe yeah. put some images Definitely. on top of that, because well, you guys don't have a video yet, right? We have a video for that uh, suite, the tapestry suite, and That's the, the video is um, all of us recording uh, parts in the studio right. live. Right, so uh, I've seen it. Okay, yeah, well maybe so I can. Yeah, maybe on YouTube or on our website at flightoffire.com. It's up there too. Okay, so maybe I can steal it, or um, or like you say, if we wanted to see any of your. Uh, Music and videos, where would we find that again? You said on what on YouTube? Well, we are Flight of Fire, it's our band name, so you can look us up on YouTube as Flight of Fire, or we have a website www.flightoffire.com. You can like us on Facebook, you just type in Flight of Fire, and uh. Yeah, soon this album will be up on iTunes. We actually just had our CD release party on Saturday, same night as yeah, well. Right. That's why we couldn't make it to that jam. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we just had it and Actually, they were selling pretty well. Yeah, so. physical album is out, and it'll be up on iTunes yep. in the next few days. So check it. Out. Okay. Um, awesome. And, and and if I wanted to actually just like say, I don't want to um, just meet Flight of Fire. If I wanted to talk to Tanya Dimachowski, can how could I get in touch with you? Well, you can look me up on Facebook as Tanya Dimachowski. And if I wanted to just to hang out with the Maverick. Exactly. Yep. Oh, how would I find you? I actually have an artist page where I post compositions and things as well as all the Flight of Fire news and it's just Maverick. So if you search Maverick on Facebook, you will find me. And if I wanted to, well, you know I'm a fan of bass players. I'm follow you and I want a backstage pass at your big <laughs> head. And, and you promised me at the last one. So if I want to <laughs> hang out with you, where could I find you at? You can find me on Facebook also. You search Tia Dimachowski. And, and do you guys have any other places like does not fly the fire that we might want to check out? Tanya and I have our own uh, dual uh, film scoring sort of page. Uh, we're called Mirror Image because we are. Oh, no, I thought she was throwing <laughs> comments out. No, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm a big fan. I'm a yeah. big fan of Mirror Image, the, the uh, page on. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, I'm a big, I'm telling y'all, man, I know the name Flight of Fire is going to have to be uh, a symbol of my prediction, which is you guys are about to take flight and catch on fire. <laughs> Sounds good to us. Yeah, you, that, hey, that's just my thing. I, I know I should be a, a, a talent agent. And, Come on, baby. I got your people here, baby. <laughs> Don't be surprised. You start waiting for a percentage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Definitely donate to the Detroit Stage Packers okay. basement. Okay, so uh, <laughs> and another thing uh, uh, between, like I said, I, when I met you guys and uh, and today, you've been doing a lot of gigging. If folks, if you follow these ladies, uh, they have an all female band with a uh, the dude playing the drums, <laughs> uh, and, and um. They they be gigging and gigging and gigging, and uh, one of the highlights. Tell me one of your recent highlights besides your CD re release party. Tell me one of the highlights that just happened to you guys. Well, we uh, submitted uh, to a competition by Fox Rocks Detroit uh, to open for Bon Jovi and Jay Giles at Ford Field, and uh, there was a panel of judges that took the, all the submissions and. You know, narrowed it down to 20, and we were very happy to hear that we were narrowed down to 20. And we're like, wow, that's really great. And then it was up to a uh, crowd vote yep. for a couple weeks, and we Got won the, the most vote. votes. And we're so we, <laughs> we were shocked. Flipping <laughs> out, we won the votes, so we got to open for Jay Giles Band and Bon Jovi. Ford Field a couple Thursdays ago, yeah. and it was an amazing experience. There must have been like 8,000 people, people like yeah. in the audience in the aisles, and we wish we could have played well. The whole place was full. Yeah, we played a bit early, but there were thousands of people there, and we're not complaining. That was amazing. That was so, it was really cool. I, and and when I heard about it, I saw the little commercial piece on uh, 
television and, and, and I wasn't looking for it. It just happened. I was like, oh, cool. I know these people. <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I know you once. Was I, if I met you once and I see you on TV, yeah. I know Ooh. you. <laughs> we personal friends, man. That's how it goes. <laughs> best pals. But, but yeah, and, and, so and, and how did that bass sound coming through such a large system that have to accommodate it? 80,000. So I basically I heard myself ears. every time I played a note, I heard the note back and it sounded great. <laughs> that, <laughs> Couple echoes, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. That, that's like power, ain't it? I know yeah. that felt good. I feel pretty cool that my bass was beating through hearts. <laughs> it was, yeah. And how and and overall, how did you guys sound to yourself? I mean, were, were you satisfied so, with your performance? Honestly, I think we did a very good job. We're very self-critical, um, but uh which I think it makes us better, but I think we did mm -hmm. a really good job. We came off really well, and we were tight, and we had so much fun. Oh, it was amazing. Yeah. No, no. Did you guys get to play in the? Was it the trunk or the hood of the car? That, the, the the stage yeah. was set up oh, like yeah. a. Was it's it kind of like the like front the front grill? grill. Yeah. Front grill. <laughs> exactly. Did, did, was cool. that behind you, or you guys? We were, were you not, guys we were in, in the? <laughs> Y'all were in the grill. The car was sort of up and around us, yep. kind of yeah. behind yeah. us. We were like on the like. <laughs> On the bumper yep. the grill. That was awesome. Is that do you guys uh wanna did it feel good enough just like I gotta get we gotta make it to the next level? Yeah. Yes. It felt yeah. really right. First of all, we felt really proud that, you know, everyone in Detroit supported us and got mm -hmm. us to that point mm -hmm. to play there and now we just, you know, well, wanna definitely. We're just hungry take it for the more at this point. Like I got up there and my voice was way louder than it's ever been before, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Huge, you know Who is that? stadium. I'm like, oh my god, that's me. It's filling up this whole stadium and I just very hungry for more. Yeah, that, yeah. that's awesome. So you guys uh keep keep working at it cause I have a vested interest in that's a backstage pass. It's a big one. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. that's, it. that's it. You got it. Um, what is that in your hand over there, Tanya? Pick. Yeah, no. <laughs> the other thing, <laughs> the big, yeah. What, what is that right there? This is my uh, Gibson Les Paul Standard. I got it in 06, and uh, it's been my baby ever since. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's awesome. How long have you been playing? Uh, we Guitar. started playing around 13. We started taking lessons in Livonia at Cameron's Music Conservatory. And uh, yeah, ever since then we've just been obsessed. <laughs> that, that is awesome. We, we, I, I actually know you, how you, what you started with, uh, clarinets and, and oh, flutes yeah. and <laughs> right. before you got on the guitar. But until, what is that you are holding in your hand? I'm holding a five-string carbon bass. I custom made it, uh, ordered it online, and um, it's got my name in the truss rod. No, uh, you kid. <laughs> it's a Bunny Brunel series bass. So, zoom in on the headstock, and you'll see something remarkable. Apart from the truss rod cover, there isn't a ding to be found. <laughs> <laughs> I have very, never very owned a bass that careful. didn't within a week have a big gouge in the headstock. <laughs> <laughs> it's had a share of baby. light bumps and ceilings, but. <laughs> I, um, I always tell people once you strap that on, it's an extension of yourself. So you gotta watch. You gotta watch the singer's face, right? <laughs> Well, for the small stage, I mean, every stage yeah, no, is not going Right. So it's part of your body once you strap it on. Uh, um, and, and, and when did you start playing bass, uh, Tia? I started playing when I was 13. Well, well. I, I guess I should have known. <laughs> All I have to do is ask one of you guys a question and you'll answer for both of them. But, but, but you chose bass, she chose guitar. Why? Why not the other way around? I mean, what, what's up with that? Well, um, when she played flute in uh, elementary school, I played clarinet. Uh, I switched to bass clarinet because I thought it was cooler. And I really started digging the low end, and I thought it was cool how the lines I played supported the other instruments, how they were like, playing like melodies and things on top. And I felt really cool to be that support. And so when we got the choice to play guitar, uh, our family was like, well, you know, there's also a bass, so if you want to play a bass, you could get a bass. And I, I was like, yeah, I want a bass. I want to do the same thing I did with bass clarinet, but with strings. Okay, <laughs> that, that is that is awesome. Now, um, Tanya, yes. 
has anything changed? You, who's, you still got your same favorite guitar players and stuff like that? Yes. Uh, name, tell me who, who inspired you on this guitar, who you following or, or whatever. Well, I'm a huge Jimmy Page fan. I've got Led Zeppelin patches all over my guitar case. I've you know, <coughs> got the Les Paul and I'm also a huge Neil Sean fan. I love, I love his solos because, you know, he combines like shredding with melodies and I love that. And Steve Vai, I'm a huge Steve Vai fan. Those are the greats, you know. Those are like my main. Uh, right, yeah. I, I'm sure each one of us can go all day on, oh, yeah. on giving, prop, <laughs> giving props to musicians. Um, how about you, Maverick? Well, I've I've really been influenced. My own vocal style has really been influenced by you know women singers in in classic rock. Like I mean, the Heart Sisters, amazing. And um, a lot of people say I sound like Pat Benatar, even though I had, didn't really listen to her a lot. But like that kind of style, I, you know, whenever I hear that, it's. Uh, right here, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all old souls, old, old schools over yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Bluesy singers, you know, like, what? Hello. Oh, that's true, actually. I do. There are some singers that are more modern that I actually really like. Like, Adele's are really amazing. Her instrument is fantastic. That's very inspiring to me, yeah. How about you, Tia? Anything change uh, as far as bass players? You meet some bass players at college that you might be following or you or you still got your same love for Getty Lee, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and name, give me, give me some other, not just bass players, but musicians that you might be hitting it with. Um, well, like you said, Getty Lee is like my hugest inspiration ever. Victor Wooten, of course, Jaco Pastorius, like, you know, all the major bass players. Um, Jaco Pastorius, you know, that's his... <laughs> His nephew right there. <laughs> Inspired by David Pastorius. <laughs> um, you know, I love... I'm inspired by David Pastorius. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, he... He can play. Yeah. Uh, uh, we'll find out, though. We're going to interview him later, I guess. <laughs> uh, what else? I love John Mayung from Dream Theater. Yeah. I wish I could play like him. You know, I can do, like, spurts of Dream Theater, but he has major endurance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> gotta work on that <laughs> okay well do you still practice for yourself you know not so much flight of fire but for yourself is like to improve yourself as a basis or you are uh, are you more leaning towards your film scoring thingy I uh, I sort of use flight of fire as a way to practice for myself uh -huh. like um, when I'm writing bass lines I try to write some harder lines for myself that I have to really work on. And I try and write some solos that I have to really work on to get right. So I sort of use Flight of Fire as a way to keep myself going and keep myself sharp. Uh -huh. and, I mean, definitely do lots of scoring too, but I, I, keep, I keep up with the bass, definitely. I keep working on it. Right, so you have to, uh, do you get a chance to play? You both have film, so you guys plan on working together, I mean. Oh yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but so do you play piano as well for to help chording for film scores to write out the flute parts and the, the basics, clarinets yeah you know like we can get by on the piano yeah. with the other instruments and stuff but it's fun to like trade off who records which instruments and who comes up with which lines like. they're very good at collaboration obviously <laughs> any movies came anything uh, i would imagine you would start off with scoring at somebody's independent movie yeah, from detroit you'd know of, yeah. a, lot of student, a lot of student films yeah we worked all three of us on some of them and uh they've done a lot by themselves a lot of a lot of pretty crappy student films but the music is great <laughs> right right what well, uh, so is there anywhere i can see some samples or anything yeah if um, you go to a uh, SoundCloud uh -huh. or our Mirror Image Facebook page, I think we have the SoundCloud up there. Look up Mirror Image Twins, and uh, we've got a few samples up there of some of the demos we did during school and outside of school. And we'll probably keep putting more up as we do more films. And uh, when we get some films, we'll put them up on our Facebook too. Right, and and, and um, do you write particular pieces for the emotion of a actual image or a moving images like? If somebody, I don't know why I'm thinking somebody gets slapped, or it's, <laughs> it's like you can write for that, or if somebody's crying, you can write for that. Oh, yeah. Without repeating all of the millions of emotional music yeah. that we've heard behind music, behind uh, 
how to yeah. sneak it in there. <laughs> that is awesome. I, I can't, I, film, as you can see, is one of my favorite things. <laughs> and uh, I've seen a video from your previous album. Any vi music videos for your current album that you just barely just released? I guess maybe not yet. Well, we do have that um, recording in studio sort of video for the Tapestry Suite. Uh -huh. um, and then we're going to start working on figuring out what we're going to do for having maybe a couple videos for our new album. We're going to have to sort of finish our little tour that's happening right now and then we'll definitely get on that because that's going to be a Okay, because I remember the Martha's Vineyard which yeah. uh, looks like abandoned. I like that ain't Martha's Vineyard. No, nah, nope. Yep, that's no. a no, abandoned tree. Sure <laughs> <laughs> actually, they're, they're tearing down something now. Yeah. That, that's funny. Y'all took y'all did the video in Detroit and said it was Martha's Vineyard. <laughs> the that, beach. That, the yeah. Beach was, were, yeah. That would be awesome, there man. There was a beach in Revere, Massachusetts. in Massachusetts, and then. Half of it was recorded in the, in uh, the warehouse in Detroit. Warehouse yeah, in Detroit. and we just drove by it recently, and it's getting torn down. <laughs> really oh, sad. Oh yes. And they actually had a piano site. in there. We yeah. went into this abandoned mm -hmm. warehouse, and there was a like busted up old piano, and we were like, "This is perfect." They I know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about. Yeah, that, inside yeah. the building. Yeah, like yeah, right on the, the from the river. Yeah, yeah. The graffiti they're, they're, like they're, so they're not tearing it down. They're, they're renovating it and making it into some sort of a youth activity center. That's great. That oh, is great. Wow. Okay, and, and if you want to see that video, the name of the song and the video is called Chasing the Storm. And we can see that on YouTube, yeah. YouTube under Flight of Fire. Flight of Fire music. Okay, yeah. any it, that's the only video so far, right? We have that. We have a couple of live videos. We have the Tapestry Suite, and we'll be working on some new ones. All right, now keep your eyes peeled. Okay, yeah, y'all. If y'all need some HD, uh, 1080p. Uh, <laughs> music videos. How at your boy. <laughs> I'll go all in the middle of the screen. Man. Yeah, that. <laughs> What's happening for the future for you people? Well, we uh, we finished up our our mini tour in, in Michigan, so then we actually just got some gigs in Florida. So we're gonna go head there with a drummer uh, we met at Berkeley. Female Both drummer in Florida. She's a female. She person. is so <laughs> good. So. We're gonna play with her in Florida, a couple gigs, and then we're gonna see what happens from there. See if we get more gigs in Florida, more gigs in Detroit, anywhere. We'll go wherever. The yep. Gigs are. It was really nice to come home and play like a lot of the bars and venues we used to play all the time when we were younger. Uh -huh. Bring it home, which was great. And when you're too young to be in a bar, and yeah, you and now to... we're finally old enough yeah. to accept all the drink offers. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, you see an ad, let them say the drink. <laughs> Hey. Yeah, play the penalty box. We, we did. did. We the did. Penalty box. <laughs> played the penalty box. That was our first gig in Michigan. We played Duffy's Pub in Auburn Hills. We yeah, played Red Ox. Red Ox. Red Dog. We just played at the Red Dog. And, and you just did the the uh, the cart. The, what was that thing on? The telegraph the telegraph dream, dream Cruise. cruise. Yeah, yeah, fun, yeah, yeah. You guys are really busy. Mm -hmm. And and um, is there anything that you would like to say to the hundred and seven countries that's watching these uh? YouTube videos of Detroit bass players in the basement. Wow, that's a lot of countries. I don't know if they're countries. They could. Some of them could be called territories. <laughs> that's fine. But it's a total of 107. I know that. 107. Yeah. I think it's just amazing that Detroit bass players has such a large reach to people all over the world. It's really inspiring. Yeah. And I hope that we can inspire. Uh, female musicians yeah. and Zen can inspire mm -hmm. female musicians to just, you know, work hard and you'll succeed and follow your dreams and everything's gonna be good. Okay. I want to say that I didn't even, I grew up in California and I met, you know, these girls at Berkeley and I live in Michigan now, you know, with them and well, I, uh, you know, I haven't spent a lot of time in Detroit so far in my life and I came to the photo shoot the other day and I was really happy to see and inspired by all the really supportive and um, friendly bassists that were there and um, I was also happy to see that there were a bunch of female players which is you know always great we want to really support that and it was just great it was very warm and welcoming and I'm really glad I could come to that and I'm glad that you know you invited us to be here today and well, I, I, we feel the love and can, we love it. Can, would you agree with me if, if I said it? I don't think anybody's ever had a photo shoot of 
bass players like that yeah, anywhere. Yeah, I've never seen so anything like it. Right, yeah, it, but that, that is awesome. Um, I wrote up like a long description about the whole Bon Jovi event if you want to check it out. If anyone's interested in like I the whole behind the scenes story, you can go to flightoffire.com and click on the social tab and got like a whole write up about it. You should do a good job, Dan. Okay, the social tab on Flight of Fire. I, I, I'm interested. I didn't know that was there. I'm going to go check it out. Cool. Okay, so you ladies, could you just play us something before you leave? Yeah, um Certainly. To, to, to uh, outro or something, please? Yeah. I'm going to play you a bass solo from one of our songs on our first album. And I'm not doing anything during it, so I'm going to sit over there. <laughs> with Mavericks and the uh, Flight of Fire and stuff. And stuff. <laughs>